this is a Bartlett blog review of Rocky Mount's backstage swing away hitch mounted bike rack. I was challenged with finding a bike rack for my Wrangler. I needed something that was, would hold the weight of up to two e-bikes, allow me to open the tailgate fully and access the rear storage, and clear the rear tire mounted to the back of the Jeep. Given the weight, a spare tire mount was not an option. Challenged with my requirements and not wanting to spend more than the price of all my bikes combined, I found the Rocky Mounts Backstage Swing Away. Anything I read stated a 7 inch hitch extension would be needed to fully clear the back tailgate, so I picked one up from Amazon and prepared for the assembly. The unit was packaged nicely and came largely assembled. A couple of large bolts and about a dozen machine screws. A couple of quick notes. You get no spare screws or washers, so use caution. Thumbs down here. Could have at least included an extra set of washers. Washers need to be placed in correct order, so take note of the instructions. Speaking of the instructions, they could have been better. Kind of reminded me of IKEA instructions. Use the articulation of the rack to aid with installation. Some of the bolts slide in easier at certain angles. When connecting the bike trays, you may want to leave the bolts loose until you know the exact position of your bikes. I generally centered them and it was fine. As others have noted, this is a solid rack and I have full confidence I could throw a couple of heavy bikes up there with no issue. Then the pleasant surprise came. The rack seems to fit with no hitch extension. Many online reviewers were not using the same tires I had. Their tires were bigger, which I understood, but this wasn't seven inches off. So the rack fits my Wrangler. I mean, this is a very pleasant, happy surprise. I thought for sure I'd have to use an extension, but there are a couple of issues. Number one, it's snug. So snug that everything has to be in just the right position and the type of rim I have is playing into it or hurting the situation. I can't fully fold, I can't fully fold the rack up against the back of the tailgate. It won't lock in place, but it's only about maybe a half inch off. Quite honestly, there's enough tension in the swing arm of the rack that I could, it stays up in place without being locked. The other issue is that when I load the bike, the rack is so close that the pedal of the bike has to actually pass into the tire rim. Given both the metal, I use a foam drink cozy around the pedal to not scratch the rim. This actually works to my advantage as it further stabilizes the bike, but not fully kosher. As if I ever changed the rim, I would have to worry if this would work in the future, but for now, it's working out just fine. I may try a 4 inch hitch extension to give extra clearance for the pedal and allow it to fold up, but adding hitch extensions have their own set of downfalls and trade offs. I don't plan on keeping this on the truck all the time, so I don't see an issue with having it folded up the way I do. Kinda bum you need a tool to get the rack on and off. Thule and Yakima racks have these toolless anti rattle locking hitch interfaces. Granted, theirs don't swing away. The swing away is really nice. And first I'm gonna tell you the not so obvious advantage. It allows you to access your bikes from both sides while it's on the rack. This actually comes in pretty handy. It helps with mounting them and tying them down and just should you need to get to the back bike, when you have both bikes mounted, especially if they're big, you can easily do so. It even serves as a nice little way to work on the bikes as you could swing them out and sit around them and might even be a good maintenance tool. So that's just an added benefit of the swing away. Giving access to the tailgate, perfect. Now you will need to be careful that you lock the pins in the correct order when you swing it away from the car. It's possible under a certain configuration with the pins not locking in a certain order that the bikes could actually swing and hit the car so do be careful. You also need to note the angle of the car when unlocking the swinging arm. Two e-bikes, the weight of the rack, 
and on a certain angle could cause 100 pounds of force swinging out unexpectedly. So if you're on a hill or if the car is parked at a certain angle, just know before swinging the bikes out what might happen. I had full confidence that the weight would be supported with the arm fully extended. Everything locks together with a satisfying lock and ping. When the unit is folded up, it fits nicely on the back of the Wrangler. I personally could do without the blue handles and may consider painting them black, but the overall aesthetic is nice. I don't feel this huge heavy rack on the back. On the move, it does have some motion, but nothing I'm concerned with. I don't feel as though anything is jerking with undue stress. This is transporting heavy bikes once again. Two normal lightweight bikes would have zero issue on this rack. I almost feel as like I could stand on it. Obviously I can't, but it just gives that impression. A hitch mount bike rack ensures the best future proofing. While I always plan on having my Wrangler, I may have another vehicle to use it with. Someone may need to borrow it, and I think it helps with the resale as well. I also think hitch mounts are the most natural for a vehicle. Roof racks are good, but I dealt with those and the risk of scratching your car up and getting the bikes up and down there is always in a lot of anxiety. That and once again remembering they're up there. This rack is a big thumbs up for me. Double double thumbs up for Wrangler owners. Given how close the clearance is in the back, I think slightly different hitch mount could make the difference. Also feel as though Rocky Mounts was trying to fill a space for Wrangler fans. Jury bolts will vary depending on the size of your spare tire, but a small extension should work if needed. Hope you found this video helpful. If so, please like and subscribe. Thank you.